Beast. Hey, you, yeah, you sitting behind your PC with your webcam on. Do you know that Big Brother is watching you? The NSA knows what you did last summer. Scary stuff, right? So today I'm going to talk to you about a very private matter. Well, a privacy coin, that is. And that coin is Zcash. So stick around for my in-depth overview. Now, as is usual, I need to make two things absolutely clear. I'm Guy, your crypto sensei, but not your financial advisor. Everything I say should only be used for educational purposes. Also, if you're new to the Coin Bureau, then I highly suggest hitting up that subscribe button and tapping that ringing bell. This way you can get these reviews the moment they hit the tube. Okay. Enough of the boring stuff, let's dive into Zcash. For those who don't know, Zcash is one of the most well-known privacy coins on the market. It is also one of the oldest. It was built on the original Bitcoin codebase. The Bitcoin fork that became Zcash occurred in 2016, resulting in a coin specifically designed to provide anonymous transactions. The team behind Zcash wanted a private and fungible option within the crypto community. Originally called ZeroCash, the project was eventually renamed Zcash, which sounds much cooler in my opinion. Now, Like other digital coins, you can use Zcash to purchase products and services, or you can trade it for other types of money. This includes euros, US dollars, or any other type of fiat currency that you prefer to use. However, unlike other privacy coins, Zcash allows you to control exactly what you want to share. You can shield your address so that it is not viewable on the network, or you can provide access to payments and transactions to trusted third parties. Zcash also has some pretty well-known proponents, including the likes of Edward Snowden, who had this to say about the project. Zcash's privacy tech makes it the most interesting Bitcoin alternative. Bitcoin is great, but if it's not private, it's not safe. The Zcash project touts four key features that it believes will appeal to users looking for a viable privacy coin. First, Zcash is efficient and usable. It's reliable, fast and inexpensive, and is supported by many wallets and exchanges. Next is regulation and audit friendly. This means private transactions and addresses can be shown to third parties and auditors in an effort to comply with regulations and requirements. Thirdly, it's attack resistant and decentralized. Zcash is maintained and operated by a wide network of machines and people. There's no single point of failure or centralized database vulnerable to hacks. And lastly, Zcash offers private transactions and addresses. Privacy resides at the core of the Zcash project. This means that you can send and receive transactions without allowing people to view where it was going or how much was sent. So now we have an idea as to what Zcash offers, but now you're asking, how does this privacy coin work? Well, let me tell you. To dive deeper into how Zcash transactions work, you'll need to have a solid understanding of how Bitcoin transactions take place. Now let's say you send me one Bitcoin to my wallet address. In doing so, you'll sign the transaction with your private key. That transaction heads to the Bitcoin blockchain where miners put it into their blocks. When the block is propagated, the transaction is confirmed. As a result, the network is updated and the transaction is stored, unable to be changed and, most importantly, completely public. So now the question becomes, how is Zcash's own privacy transaction different? Well, the transaction will be pretty much the same if I ask you to send me Zcash to my T address, that's my transparent address. However, if we wanted to make the transaction completely private, then I would give you Z address or stealth address. Once you send Zcash to this address, the transaction is kept completely anonymous. All information about the sender, receiver and amount is hidden from those prying eyes. Now, of course, the tech behind these stealth transactions is pretty advanced, but let's touch on it briefly. To validate that a person has the necessary funds to send a certain amount of Zcash, the network uses ZK snarks. 
A ZK snark is a protocol used to validate that nobody on the network is stealing or cheating. These ZK snarks, or zero knowledge proofs, are used to verify that a person on the network has a secret, in this case the private key, but won't reveal what the secret is. For those of you into acronyms, ZK snark actually stands for Zero Knowledge Succinct Non Interactive Argument of Knowledge. This refers to the cryptographic proof where one can establish possession of information without revealing what the information actually is. It can also confirm this information without interaction between the verifier and the prover. Zcash isn't the only project using the ZK Snarks protocol. There are several others that have implemented this type of technology. For example, you have Komodo, which is a multifunctional blockchain that's looking for a way to shield their transactions. You also have Horizon, which has ZK Snark technology and pretty much the whole Zcash codebase. And here's a fun fact Horizon is actually a fork of Z Classic, which is a fork of Zcash. A fork of a fork. I know, forking mad, right? Anyways, I've only just scratched the surface, but if you want an in depth overview of how ZK Snarks work, we have a post below for that. Now, when it comes to consensus, Zcash uses proof of work just like Bitcoin. This means coins are mined through the use of raw computing power. Through the use of hashing, miners solve complex algorithms to earn rewards for a mined block. Both Bitcoin and Zcash have a total coin supply of 21 million coins. However, Bitcoin uses a SHA-256 hashing function, while Zcash went the Equihash route. As a result, Zcash is much easier to mine than Bitcoin. Now, while you used to be able to mine Zcash with a GPU, this has become unprofitable on account of all those Equihash ASIC mining rigs that are on the market, so that's a bit of a bummer. However, if you happen to be the lucky lad with an Equihash ASIC, then you may want to link it up to Zcash mining pool, of which there are plenty. Moving on though, let's take a look at another hot topic issue for Zcash, and that is its Ceremony and Founders Fund. Now, Zcash launched through an elaborate event called the Trusted Ceremony. This was essentially the point where the initial SNARK public parameters were created. I won't go into detail about the ceremony here, but there are many privacy hawks who didn't like the notion of the ceremony. They were skeptical as it relied on the trust of the founding members. And as we know in crypto, don't trust, verify. Anyways, Zcash was founded in 2016 in a period when the very first ICOs were getting underway. Zcash chose not to have one, instead going in a direction it refers to as the Founders Reward. The Founders Reward is the incentive mechanism used by the project for the founders and early investors. They receive 10% of all mining rewards, which will wind up being roughly 2.1 million ZEC over the course of a four-year period. Once this four-year period elapses, which will be next year, the block reward is only split among the miners, as is the case with most other proof-of-work coins. So, as mentioned, Zcash has a total mineable supply of 21 million coins. Currently, there are just under 8 million ZEC coins in total supply and circulation. Zcash will experience a halving in 2020 as well. At this time, miners receive 12.5 ZEC per block mined, which will halve to 6.25 ZEC. Let's move on though and talk about the team behind Zcash, shall we? The Zcash team is led by Zuko Wilcox, who founded the project in 2016. Zuko currently serves as the CEO with a solid background in decentralized systems and cryptography. Previous endeavors include Digicash and Mojo Nation. While Zcash is an open source project, the team works for Zero Coin Electronic Company. ZECC is a registered company that does the development work for the Zcash project. Zcash also boasts a strong advisory board. Included amongst the Zcash project's backers are Roger Ver, Eric Voorhees, and Barry Silberth. But Zcash isn't just about pretty faces. The project is doing some significant work, as evidenced by its sapling upgrade. This network upgrade took place in October of 2018 and provided significant improvements to the project. Sapling introduced shield addresses to Zcash, which helped reduce the time of constructing transactions while also reducing the amount of memory required. 
I won't go into much more detail about the sapling upgrade here, but if you are interested, there is a post for that. Now, another upcoming release is the Blossom upgrade, which should take place in early December. But anyways, I want to move on from here and talk about the markets for Zcash. Zcash, which has the ticker ZEC, is a pretty popular coin and consistently ranks within the top 50 of all cryptocurrencies on CoinMarketCap. You won't have any problems with liquidity when it comes to Zcash. There's plenty of volume done each day on exchanges like CoinEx, Binance and Huobi. These platforms do literally millions in Zcash trading on a daily basis. The trading volume is also pretty well spread out across these exchanges, which is better from a price discovery perspective. Taking a bit of a closer look into the exchange order books, we can see healthy liquidity. Here is Binance's Zec Tether order book, which is quite deep with a reasonable bid ask spread. Great for large block orders. In terms of storage, Zcash has plenty of options. In fact, quite a compendium. I'm sure you would really want a helpful post that took you through the best Zcash wallets. But now you'll want to know what I think, right? Well, firstly, I will say that I'm a massive fan of privacy coins in general. Privacy should be a human right, and in a world of ever-increasing surveillance, we are losing that. Now, while Bitcoin was a first step in this direction, its completely public blockchain has proven to be a massive asset for those who want to track your transactions. So I'm bullish on privacy coins, but is Zcash the one? Well, it is one of the oldest on the market, and it is constantly innovating. It has a strong team behind it with broad exchange support. Moreover, the technology that powers the Zcash protocol is some of the most advanced in the cryptocurrency space. The numerous Zcash forks are testament to that. And finally, Zcash is really likely to blossom with its upcoming upgrade. You see what I did there? But seriously, jokes aside, there are a few concerns with Zcash. Firstly, it is opt-in privacy. Unlike other privacy coins like Monero, where all transactions are private by default, Zcash requires the user to select to send a private transaction. This means that those who use shielded transactions are immediately viewed with suspicion as having something to hide. So basically, those who use transparent transactions are lessening the privacy of those who use the shielded transactions. Not ideal. Secondly, you have that trusted ceremony. While the chances of the ceremony being compromised are incredibly minute, the possibility still exists. Some may not be bothered by this, but others would be highly perturbed. And it's up to you to decide where your indifference curve lies. And that's it, my complete review of Zcash. But I do need some feedback. What do my fellow crypto crew think of Zcash? Any Monero fans out there? Any other privacy coins you guys love? Well, let me know in the comments. And finally, if this review was vaguely helpful, then spread the love. Smash up that like button and don't forget to subscribe. My next coin review is currently being cooked up in our crypto kitchen. Thank you.